Hi guys, today we are going to install the S6 ROM on the Galaxy S4. I am doing this video because uh, uh, now the method is a bit different uh, thanks to the developer. We can choose S6 or uh, S6 Edge, no need to download two separate ROMs. Thanks to him. In the Edge you get the Edge screen and more lag than the uh, S6 ROM. Uh, let's boot into the recovery first. Go to the power off. Download uh, uh, the ROM to the SD card first and press the menu power and the volume up to go into the recovery unlike the snapdragon uh, processors it will not give you a message over here the exynos didn't have it or the old processor didn't have it snapdragon 410 and 410 has it pretty nice uh, whether you know we are booting or not go into the wipe advanced wipe Select dynamic cache, system data, and the preload because you are downloading in the internal storage or micro SD card or OTG. Don't delete that, just swipe to wipe. I have already done that, so I will not do it here. Go to the ROM where you have saved it. I will see my UC downloads, I guess. No, should have <laughs> downloads. I don't, know. yes, there it is. Swipe to flash, and it should boot into the ROM installer if it uh, does not. It is just rec uh, reboot the recovery and it will work. Uh, select the theme which you like. Uh, also, this uh, theme only varies in the uh, what you say, Aroma installer. So, I will go for the Frenzy Roy thing. Never checked it out. English. Next. Uh, just apply some terms and conditions. It will give you some change log and the other things about the ROM and here we have the menu so you can choose what you want in this ROM focus uh, I was going for the grids launcher but check out my review on this ROM and I will set the Aurora because the Prism and Volta are pretty battery hungry as you can see uh, down right here I will just stick to the S6 Edge ROM so I can get uh, the edge screen features or you can choose the S6 ROM too we have uh, 3 camera works not 3 but uh, cameras for effect if you are a uh, lot more into shooting or if you want to get S4 uh, uh, no S5 or Note 4 uh, like uh, experience go for it or the S6 one I will choose because the ROM is S6 and next hit the install now it will first give you 0 then it will jump to 40 and uh, it will finish it is not that accurate so don't panic I will come back after the installation as you can see after uh, 5 to 8 minutes the installation has been completed it's work done we check out that uh, no errors are given before rebooting the system uh, press ba main back to menu if you don't want to flash I would recommend that you, you don't flash anything before uh, the first reboot uh, that can cause uh, boot loops it will reboot on yourself on itself <laughs> on yourself uh, on itself as I have already installed it, uh, it will first initiate the ini initialize the apps. Uh, not like the first boot. Um, yes, it's booting. I will hit back after <laughs> it's booted up. After the device boots up, you will greeted with the screen of setup screen. I will set, uh, set it up because my internet connection was on and now it's gone. And I have noticed that I have talked about the lag in this ROM but it was present in the Edge port not in the S6 uh, cause the recent types is a bit smooth over here let's check it out uh, let's just open some 5 to 6 apps pretty quickly the app opening time is very good and the lag is not present at all smooth recents but it was very laggy if uh, even if with two apps on the edge port so if you want a fluid uh, UI go for this is your choice the edge port as you can see it totally works like an S6 I have not formatted uh, from coming to the edge port to S6 also note that your device becomes too hot when uh, recording so keep in mind back some eggs on your uh, back of the S4 just kidding uh, try to keep it cool for so the process of 
uh, optimizing the apps uh, goes correctly and uh, fast so thanks for watching thumbs up if you like my review subscribe to my channel for more videos like this give an idea and i will do it thanks for watching